Hey guys, uh, I am going to do my two year and three month about a week early. I, we've got unexpected company coming from out of country next week and uh, it's kind of thrown our schedules off and and stuff so I remember today I, I was going to do a video next week so here it is it's my two year three month video and physical changes are I'm just uh, getting hairier uh, it's filling in in the bald spots that I was worried about a month or so ago my hands are filling in. I got little hairs on my fingers, which I've I've always had, but you couldn't see. Now you can see them. I haven't checked my feet out, but I've always had toe hair, and it's probably more now. More thigh hair, uh, but uh, butt cheek hair is growing now. Uh, my back is constantly itching, and I have Tony check it and make sure there's no zit or anything on it. And there's never is. It's all just hair growth that's been itchy uh, I went sleeveless I, over to, I did a project for my mom last week and I wore some sleeveless shirts and she was looking at my shoulders excuse me I've redone this three times because of my yawning uh, she was looking at my shoulders and she just goes, my God, you're hairy. And my brother's not hairy. My dad wasn't hairy like that. So I've always heard it comes from the female side anyway. And her full brother, her only brother, uh, he's a, a hairy guy. So I'm thinking I take after that side of the family, at least in something. I'm, I mean, I'm all my dad's side of the family. What you look at here is you, you're looking at my dad's side of the family. Uh, besides a little bit of this and my nose growing a little bit like my mom's. Uh, so anyway, that's as far as hair. Now fat is still redistributing. redistributing. Uh, what I don't like, because it's causing me some emotional pain is that it's it's gone into the lower part of my stomach where my pants fit uh, underneath the belly button and so my pants are all tight and I will not buy a bigger pair of pants uh, and then I sometimes have to wear them underneath the gut and I just feel like I just feel like those heavy guys that their gut sticks out. It's just something that I deal with. My body image in my eyes. Tony shakes her head all the time, but Tony loves me unconditionally, and so it doesn't matter how I look. She's gonna she's gonna love me no matter what. And but me, I have a hard time, and I don't realize it until someone takes a picture of me. And Tony has a habit of taking a picture of me and then posting them on Facebook. And I'll look at him and go, oh man, I look disgusting. Oh man, I look like I'm short and fat. And uh, and I am overweight right now. I mean, I have been overweight for a while, uh, you know, due to health issues. And it's just been a battle. So that's probably one of the hardest things that I'm dealing with right now emotionally is uh, fat redistribution and... Uh, I am losing some of that weight gain I talked about uh, that I had a, a month ago or two months ago, whenever it was. I've lost four pounds of that, and that's what I will do. I will gain, when my body starts absorbing the testosterone really good, because I have an issue with that, then I'll put on some weight, and then I'll start losing again, and hopefully it doesn't mean that my, my levels are going down, but uh, anyway, so I've lost four pounds of that. Muscle mass, I haven't, I am doing a little simple routine at home, like I talked about a year ago, doing the push-ups off of the, the desk, the countertops, you know, if you're disabled and you cannot get down on the ground, or it tweaks your back, you can do them stationary, up against a wall, depending on how bad your your issues are, your, your uh, back injuries, or your genetic diseases are you can push off of a wall and isolate those muscles concentrate on just using your chest to push away and uh, 
you know, there's things you can do. You can sit in a chair and do the bicycle and really push and do it fast. You can do this for your shoulders really fast. Uh, another one that I was taught was interlock the fingers, go up, come down, and go out. And do those really fast because you want your heart rate to get up. And then, let's see, there was this. Oh, and act like you're running in place. That's a little routine that one of the personal trainers uh, has given people in this uh, the Gabriel method that has disabilities or that cannot walk or for whatever reason they they can't do cardio as well as uh, other people he's given those and you gotta do them fast so you get that heart rate going and you only do them for 20 seconds and then you're off 10 seconds on 20 and you probably do four or five sets of those however long you can do uh, in a half hour time would be great but even if it's just uh, 10 minutes that's good too so I have started a little routine at home and you know I I'm very fortunate with my body because all I have to do is is be consistent and just do a few and you'll start seeing it in my arms uh, you know my biceps and my triceps my pecs are really looking good uh, I'm not going to show them until I really passed the stage where I was last year because I showed my pecs last year I want them to grow more and get more defined and then I'll do a, a viewing after I feel comfortable doing that uh, show you guys how it works uh, three times a week that's all I'm doing it and again I'm doing it just as many times as I possibly can and just my goal is just to get further each week add one if I have to or if if that's all I can do just add one that's what I do so those are some goals um, I am implementing more raw food I'm not going to go vegan and I'm not going to eat all raw food as my uh, nutrition which would be good if I could but I'm going to be honest with you I'm a carnivore so I can't do that but I have implemented the uh, raw salad and I do buy kale and I try to buy organic and I do try to put all kinds of vegetables in my raw salad I do use the Bragg's uh, vinegar uh, cider vin apple cider vinegar I went blank there uh, and you can use any salad dress and I like uh, Bob's blue cheese and so I cut down my portion on that and add some of the vinegar to it it really makes for a tasty salad I add raw sunflower seeds uh, I will put raw almonds in there. I'll put some dried cranberries in there. Uh, it just depends on what my mood is for the time. Um, John Gabriel does talk about eating a salad and then if you have leftovers like stir fry or something like that, put it on top of your salad and eat it all together. And I've done that and it tastes pretty good. It's not bad at all. So anyway, uh, so emotionally I'm just dealing with my weight. Um, I have noticed that I that I'm still dealing with I think some, I, I think some kind of depression I'm not sure um, <clears throat> I'm not stuck in the house I'm not in a rut but what comes to my mind once in a while is uh, I, I feel like sometimes I have no purpose and I think that's from not working and not having a to-go place um, what kept me going before I got sick with the valley fever was my horse my horse uh, she was lame she needed me and also I was on a uh, I had a goal to get her further along in training than she had ever been and to build her confidence and uh, we were getting there and, and then she showed up lame so yeah I have another horse and she's lame but it's just from an abscess from all the well not all the rain but the little bit of rain we got sometimes horses will get abscesses and it comes down through their leg and out their hoof and until it blows out their hoof they're really sore so she's lame in fact I'm getting ready to go out there in the next hour or so uh, 
But I, I feel like sometimes I don't, when you see me doing all these projects, uh, it's because I have to, I'm the kind of person that I have to stay busy. I have worked all my life since I was 16 years old. I have supported myself. Never has anybody else ever supported me since I was 16. And I'm not used to it. And so sometimes it takes a toil on me. And I haven't finished painting my house, which I'll do that next week since I'm going to be strapped to the house with this unexpected guest. And I don't want to feel like I have to sit and entertain, so I'm just going to paint. I did get the east side of my house done, so the only thing left I have is just three quarters of the patio. My patio is a 14 by 40 foot patio, and I probably got almost 10 feet done of it so anyway so that's the only thing I've been noticing I don't think it has to do with transition but however I think it does affect the transitioning uh, because now I'm looking through a male's eyes and sometimes it can be even worse but you know I guess I can't even say that because I've always looked through a male's eyes I just wasn't ever recognized and I think sometimes I, I feel like I'm missing out transitioning being disabled and not being not being able to do some of the things that I should be able to do at my age and it just gets a little you know it gets a little gnawing and I can't stand chronic anything chronic pain uh, chronic problems you know I'm one of those that I'm a very half glass uh, full kind of person so when chronic things creep into my life it takes a lot of my energy and it takes a a lot of uh, positive power to get through them and to file them in a way that I can deal with them so right now I'm, I'm kind of coming out of this one year sickness uh, trying to feel better you know trying to deal with the weight just redistribution that's going on and how my clothes are fitting you know all these little things are just trying to pile up and I'm trying to keep them from piling up so those are the things I'm kind of dealing with uh, there are trans transition things in the midst of them uh, just because I think I feel I don't, I don't know I don't know so anyway um, <clears throat> I mean God still has blessed us we're doing good I mean we still can pay our bills every month we still can enjoy our horses you know we still have a home and we still have our four-legged little girls here that keep us busy and give us unconditional love and so it makes up for anything else that we lack and so everything's going pretty good you know uh, my insurance company is now covering bottom surgery and that means the metoid and the phalloplasty uh, so one of the guys in my support group never thought about the phalloplasty because for one thing too expensive too many surgeries don't have that kind of money now that the, he has the same insurance as I do, now that they're covering it, he's going for it. So I'm going to kind of see how it goes with him. He gets to see Dr. Crane in San Francisco. So that's pretty cool that Dr. Crane is uh, willing to take our insurance and, and the contracted amount for it. So anyway, that's probably something new in the future. Uh, that's another reason why I think I deal with weight because I want to be about 30 plus pounds lighter before I ever have bottom surgery so it's just in the thought process but I'll I'll uh, talk about it more as I think about it more as things start turning around positive for me uh, both emotionally and physically and I start seeing some of this weight drop and seeing my pant size kind of slim up here uh, those are the things I'm going to be concentrating on working on again I'm drinking my protein shakes and I'm you know eating raw salads and I'm talking I'm going to Tony and I are going to the farmers market on Saturdays and we're getting organic vegetables 
And even if I can't afford organic vegetables every week, just getting vegetables, period, and washing them, you know, you can wash them in vinegar, you can wash them with a veggie soap, uh, getting the pesticides off of them, at least you're getting something. So, I hope all of you are doing well. Uh, you take it one day at a time. Always make your journey as simple as possible. We will talk to you later. Bye.